Al Moreno, district manager for Kaiser. Uh, I cover everything west of the Rockies for both Sigma and the Omega products. We're at Weftech 2022 and uh, looking at some new equipment in the booth today. We are uh, focusing on our new uh, version two of the FBS series. This is the FBS 720M. It comes in uh, two pressure ranges, so low pressure and a higher pressure. This happens to be a 125 horsepower unit that runs on variable speed, has our Sigma Control 2, and a new design that's focused on saving space. All the controls are in the door, where in years past, they were off to the side, taking more floor space, uh, not only for the, the cabinet, but also for the rate to accommodate for the radius of the door to the VFD opening. So, as you can see, now in this design, all the controls are integrated into the door. And there's actually a door behind the door. Where you can see here, the variable frequency drive is in its own little area. It's got its fans, so you have plenty of ventilation to evacuate the latent heat from the drive. And then here's your panel with your AC transformers for your fan and your different sensors and transducers that are in the package. We open up the main panel. You can see the air end, which is the heart and soul of a rotary screw blower. You have a gimlet silencer on top. Air end, discharge silencer, below. All the maintenance, all the service can be done from the front of the panel. So you've got small valves to change your oil, to evacuate your oil. You can fill your oil up here for the gear side and the shaft side on the other side. This happens to be a gear-driven blower. Again, 125 horsepower. And uh, you'll notice there's a lot of attention to detail. If you look at simple things like the wiring, everything's color-coded, everything is documented. This unit is also UL508 recognized, which is uh, a must-have in this industry. You've got 40 millimeters of sound attenuating foam all the way around it, so this machine runs somewhere in the high 70s to low 80s DBA in decibels. So again, uh, a lot of attention to detail with the new FPS. Okay, next, uh, again, we're here at WEF showing our new uh, Pillarator boot series blower. This is a turbo blower, also known technically as a dynamic machine. Uh, first for Taser, it's been a fantastic program. Uh, what we're showing here is a 200 horsepower unit. There are two sizes, a 200 and a 400 horsepower uh, turbo blower. They come in different pressure ranges. We have uh, different configurations all based on what the customer's pressure requirements are. As you can see, it's all painted nicely with the uh, Kaiser yellow. We've got a Siemens HMI screen or touch screen that helps us uh, not only with programming, but also uh, provide the data, the operational uh, data. We open the cabinet. You can see that there's a lot of attention to detail in the wiring, the way we configure these things, the layout of the panel. You have filters on the inlet side. This is our incoming power here. Then we come into the variable frequency drive, which is water cool. That is a unique feature to Kaiser. The motor and the magnets on the other side that I'll show you in a minute are also water cooled. All right? So you get much better heat dissipation, much better than all the other guys. You've got a bank of capacitors here. This helps us to start, excuse me, stop the, um, the motor and the air, uh, the the system if we lose power this is a bank of capacitors so we basically take the inertia from the motor as it's running if we lose power we use that inertia to fill our capacitors with energy and store the energy so that we can bring the motor down to a coast and it doesn't slam you've got the mag bearing controller here all right that's what's controlling the electromagnets inside the motor that we'll get to in just a second and that helps us to levitate the shaft there's no air that goes into those bearings uh, so there's no issues with contamination. That's what makes a mag barrier so attractive to customers. It's fail-safe. Very robust, very reliable. You've got a Siemens PLC in here, programmable logic controller, that's doing all controlling the entire system. Also communicating back and forth with the drive and the HMI, which is the human machine interface, or your touch screen. So again, as you can see, a lot of attention to detail. You have fans in here, ventilation fans, to evacuate the latent heat. Again, it's water cool. 
if it goes, if this ends up in a very hot climate, we've made provisions on both sides for an air conditioner to cool that cabin down. I'm still with the turbo blower. This is the rear side or the mechanical side of the blower package. Uh, this particular unit is uh, air cool uh, and also water cool. So you can make this a water cool unit very easy. So we have a, radi a fan that's blowing air across the radiator. There's a closed loop system for the water, which again cools the mower, the bearings, the mag bearings, and also the VFD, the variable frequency drive, on the other side. You have a pump that's circulating that water through to make that happen. And then you also have, like I said, a fan that's blowing air across the radiator to further bring that temperature down. All machines come with a heat exchanger, as you can see down here. That's the tube that's running parallel or horizontal, actually. And then you can add, if it's a really uh, high temperature application, you can bring in a different source, external water, for even a bit more cooling for the machine. Heat is a very big thing. Okay. Here is your motor and power combination. Again, this is a magnetic scout bearing, so you have a shaft inside that motor that is uh, levitating on a combination of permanent magnets and electromagnets. The electromagnets are controlled by the bearing controller, which is on the opposite side. You are taking flow measurements up here. You're taking temperature measurements up here. The transducers that are wired through the panel and back to the PLC, which does the control. We have an inlet filter up here. This is the panel that we would take off in order to, to uh, yeah. clean or replace the air filter, which has to be done on a regular basis. So those would be the primary uh, components. Of this. We're back at WEF showing you our uh, DB166C. This is a non-integrated tri-load blower package. As you can see, the cover is off of it. All the service can be done from the front. You can look at something catastrophic, like replacing the blower block or motor. It can all be done from we have a totally enclosed fan cooled motor, belt um, driven. Here's a door block. Your inlet silencer and filter are here. Basically, empty that clip. You can remove the filter. It's got a, it's a fleece with a Velcro strap. It takes you about three minutes to replace. All the oil can be drained from the front with these uh, little levers that you open up, you drain your oil, and you can replenish the oil. For the gear uh, shaft side and the gear side in the back. Uh, motors that are 40 horsepower and above have grease fittings, so we need to regrease the motor bearings at a certain interval. We've got 40 millimeters of sound attenuating foam all the way around. Sound is a really big issue. Once we put the cover on this blower package, you get a decibel rating that's in the 78 to 80 dBA range. So you can have a conversation at the same time we're having here if this blower was running. All right. So with all tri-load blowers, you have a fan here that's on a separate circuit. That fan should run anytime that the blower is on and making air, and it should also continue to run between 10 and 15 minutes after the blower shuts off to evacuate all of the lake heat. Very big, very big thing. You can order it with a variety of different sensors and transducers. Again, this is a non-integrated version, so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it does come with three gauges. One of them is going to be your pressure gauge. The next one in the middle is going to be your temperature gauge, and it also has a temperature switch where you can set to have an output at a predetermined temperature. And that helps us uh, keep the blower from overheating and can feed that signal into a PLC or something. Uh, so three gauges on top, temperature, pressure, and also filter differential. So this will tell the operator when the filter is getting dirty, time to change the filter. You have to do the maintenance. These things will also last you a lifetime if you take care of them and do the maintenance. You can also see here, this is what's called an auto belt tensioner. As those belts begin to wear, this pin right here is going to start to creep up. And when it gets to the midway point, that's the indicator to the operator that it's time to change the belts. All right, so it'll self-tension itself. Usually you have to adjust that within the first few weeks that the blower is running. Once the belts settle in and so forth, it'll need to be retentioned. And that can be done super, super easy. There are PTC thermistors inside the motor that allows us to monitor the winding temperature. Again, this is not integrated, so that would be an option. So there's a host of options that are available to you or to our customers on the cart. They're all 
ordered separately. Uh, but this is just the basic package as it sits. Again, this is a compact series, DB166, uh, 15 or 5. So back at left, uh, showing a uh, custom solution, custom engineered solution is what this is. On this platform, in this enclosure, we have two rotary screws, they're 20 horsepower, run off of BFP. This is the original version, the one on the left is the uh, latest version, uh, which has all the controls integrated into the door. As we said earlier, floor space at wastewater treatment plants is at a premium, so anything we can do to reduce the footprint of these blower packages is very, very well received. So what we have here is a enclosure that was built out of Frederick, Virginia at our facility. That's got a steel floor, and it's usually completely enclosed. It is, uh, got louvers for the intake air, and then a fan that evacuates all of the latent heat completely, climate controlled, all the electrical is taken care of from the power coming in on the outside of the package. So that's basically where we land our incoming power for the package. And then you've got your panel with your circuit breakers and whatnot to protect the equipment. This is all custom, so we can put two blowers in here, we can put five blowers in here. It just depends on what the customer is going to want, what he's going to need. They are fully wired and illuminated, so you have lights inside. They will typically have a main door or two, and then also have access doors to get the equipment in and out or to do whatever repairs need to be done. There's plenty of space to work in and out. And again, louvers for ventilation coming in, and you've got a fan evacuating all the heat. These happen to be our GPS series blowers, as I said, one older one and one newer one. And they're all being run by the Sigma Air Manager, we call it the SAM. So what the SAM allows us to do is it allows us to bring on our assets in the most energy efficient form. So if it senses what the demand is and realizes that it only needs to bring one machine on at 50%, but you need another machine on at 75%, because that's going to give the customer the most efficient combination, then that's what it's going to do. So if you look at our station, on the sand, you can see that this program only has two units on it. One of them is running, and you can see it's running at about 50% capacity. If you wanted to know how fast it was running or information on the unit, you just click on it, and it tells you here everything about this machine. It tells you the speed it's running at, it tells you the air and speed, the pressure, the temperature, your CFM, and then also the kilowatt consumption. It gives you your running hours. A lot of information to be had here. Sam also has the ability to uh, look at your energy cost. So we can go to table mode under the energy menu, and we can see exactly what this system is costing the customer to produce the air. When it's idling or making air, once we enter the kilowatt cost, cost per kilowatt, all that reporting and all that data can be exported through the customer SCADA system so that he knows what he's paying for air per day, per shift, per month, per quarter, per year, whatever he wants to do. He can run those reports here, touch up a couple of times. All right? You have alarming uh, maintenance information. It tells you the history. It tells you when the maintenance is coming up. Uh, it's IP addressable, it has an email client, it has a text or SMS client in it. So if there was an alarm condition, we can have a message sent to the client operator, the client manager, the client engineer, anyone who uh, cares about how to get back up and running. It gives them an alarm code, and so they have somewhere to start when they come up the next day and have to troubleshoot the machine or the system. So again, that is our Sigma Air Manager, focusing on energy efficiency. And beta report. Okay, thanks for uh, coming to the Kaiser booth here at Tech 2022. I uh, hope you enjoyed our presentation. Uh, just to recap, we covered the tri low blowers and compact plus packages, both the integrated and non integrated. We also looked at our uh, rotary screw uh, blower packages. We looked at two 20 horsepower units with the SAM. We also reviewed our containerized or custom solutions capabilities. We saw the new FBS 2, version 2, and then the Pillarator new turbo machine uh, that we are offering. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching.